sweet inspirations to help bring calm to the storms of life. A devotion time with narrators, ministers, William and Kat Carlton from the Sunshine State of Florida. Today's devotion from Spiritual Vitamins, Volume 2, by Winston Wilson. August 10th, the last hour. Scripture. Dear children, this is the last hour. And as you've heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now, many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. Reflection. The prophetic time in which we live is fast coming to an end. We are now living in the interval between the two comings of Christ. At the first coming of Jesus, he came as the Savior who gave his life to redeem us from sin. At his second coming, he will establish peace, righteousness, and justice over the entire earth. In this present age, God is taking out a people from among the Gentile nations for himself. Acts chapter 15, verse 14. During this present period, false teachers will arise and oppose the person, works, and teachings of Christ. Savage assaults upon true Christians will increase and for a brief moment prevail. The world will be deceived by a leader empowered by Satan and who will be very embodiment of evil, the Antichrist. This powerful, satanically inspired leader will become the object of worship and the persecutor of all those who worship God. The governments of this world are even now fighting against God, seeking to remove all vestiges of God from the public forum. They are preparing the world unwittingly for that superhuman leader who will turn this world into a living nightmare for the true believers in Christ. Satan is at his best when he lies, steals, and murders. His men will have mastered his craft and will fully execute the devil's will. Very dark days lie just ahead of us because men are rejecting God's salvation. Are you making known your stand for Christ? Prayer, Lord, Help me to shine for you in this dark world. Amen. Wisdom. Evil will reach its nadir or lowest point after the church is raptured. <laughs>